All right, what's up, guys? In honor of Unlimited being released on TCGO, uh, I'm bringing you the second episode of uh, my live battles, and we're going to be playing some Unlimited games instead of Modified just for kicks. Uh, I've built the most broken Unlimited deck I could think of, and we're going to see how it stacks up. Uh, if you follow me on Facebook, you already know what the deck is, but if you don't, you're in for a treat. Um, I don't actually expect to finish a whole game before people quit on me. I've finished exactly one game with this deck. Um, maybe two, actually. But uh, we'll see how far we get. Um, the deck is Mew, Vanillox, Vileplume, Dusk Noir, and basically what it does is uh, lock your opponent down for the whole game, forever so they can't ever do anything, and you slowly whittle them down, and then take six prizes in one turn. Uh, so it's good stuff. Um, we get our ideal starter here with Mew EX. Unfortunately, don't have a whole lot going on beyond that. We will be able to get a C off here, but I think I'm going to have to Skyla for a collector. So we can use that next turn. Uh, if you guys forget what these cards do, or you don't know, I'll do my best to explain them. Uh, Mew Prime is similar to Mew EX. Uh, instead of using attacks on the field, though, it uses attacks from the Lost Zone. So its attack, Lost Link, lets you choose one Pokemon from your deck and send it to the Lost Zone. And um, from there, you can use the attack. So the first turn, you definitely want to see off something. And in this case, I'm going to see off this Vanillax. Um, and then, wow, that's a lot of energy. That's a Keldeo. Uh, Keldeo is a problem for this deck, a big problem. So it's the one thing that kind of keeps it from being super duper broken. But uh, what to get? Probably two Oddishes and a Victini would be the best choices. I only have one. Wow, I have two Oddishes prized. Well, that's not good. Um, that could be major trouble. It means I'm going to have to take prizes. So I guess uh, we'll just grab a Dust Skull then. So bench these guys down. And we can start the Freeze Lock here. Uh, yeah, so what the deck aims to do is Trainer Lock with Vile Plume on turn two. And then just constant freeze using um, Lost Link to use Vanillix's double freeze. Um, if you get one heads, it paralyzes your opponent like that. And so with Trainer Lock in place, there's no way for them to get out of that uh, predicament. So you basically just uh, freeze lock them and then use Dusk nor to move all the damage off of the active so that it just stays trapped there forever and ever and eventually you kill all of their stuff, and that's the end of the game. So, uh, if they don't play Keldeo, it's pretty much an auto win, uh, unless you don't set up. But with all of the supporters at your disposal in Unlimited, it's very easy to set up. If they do play Keldeo, it makes things a lot trickier, um, just because they can get around the ability with Switch In, so I think I might need to add something to counter that. Uh, we'll have to see. So let's go for a Sage. If we hit a Candy here, uh, we get Vileplume, which would be amazing. So there's our Candy. That means we get a Vileplume. Um, and I think I'll take this Pokemon Collector as well. I might need it next turn. Yeah. So let's go ahead and evolve Duskull. And then Rare Candy into Vile Plume. There we go. And now we can just start freeze locking him. Well, we can continue to freeze lock him, but now he can't switch out of it. So his only escape is Keldeo, basically. Which I might be able to deal with if I can get a Dustmore sometime soon. Uh, yeah. Let's see, what's this thing got on it now? 
two blends. Okay. And he's going to collect her. I don't know if he's going to play Blastoise or not. We'll find out here in a second, probably. Curum, Mewtwo, Entei. I guess not. <laughs> We're just going to play all of those things, which kind of leads me to believe he doesn't really know how to use Curum effectively. Uh, have to see. So at this point, I just need more Mews. Looks like one of them is prized as well. So I prized a lot of stuff this game. Um, I guess we'll take whatever's left then, a Duskull. So just put these guys down, start getting some energy on them. And what do you have left? 60? So I need to flip exactly one heads. Or I could just knock him out uh, if I wanted to and take two prizes. <sighs> and if I do that, I don't know. I, I think it's better to try and keep him locked if I can. Well, that's not going to do it. Yes. There we go. Yeah. Kind of need a dust more, though because otherwise I'm going to knock him out, which doesn't really help me. Um, I could also retreat into one of my other Mews and let it die, and then that way I can use Twins and get Dust more, and then I just win. So that's probably what I'll do next turn. And if he brings that Keldeo up, then I just win also. <laughs> Because he'll knock out this Mew, that'll let me use Twins, I can grab another Energy, and a Dusk Noir. And once Keldeo is active, it can't rush in, obviously, so it loses. Yep, alright, he's gonna kill my Mew. Okay, that's fine. Good to see that he did use it properly. I've played a couple people that have Keldeo and just kind of forget his ability. But, that's gonna activate the Twins engine which means game over for him. There's Dusknoir, and... Yeah, you have a... So I'll get Dusknoir and a Rescue Energy. And we win! <laughs> uh... That's all there is to this deck, so I'm not going to play it probably that much, because if, once you set up the lock, that's it. It's just auto. It's just automatic from that point on. But I definitely wanted to feature it as my first unlimited deck, because it's so stupid. Uh, it does, like I said, the uh, Blastoise Keldeo does beat it. Um, but that's really it. And that's only, if, if you can get... Vileplume, before they get Blastoise, you're in pretty good shape as well. So let's see what he's going to do here. And, uh, you know, if I were playing Unlimited, any deck I could tech Keldeo into, I definitely would, because I would imagine status decks are going to be huge. Uh, Vileplume is just too good in Unlimited, because there's so many broken trainer cards. Um... All the best unlimited decks, I think, are going to be Vileplume based. So let's go ahead and Twins again. Now I can just start chaining them, since I have everything I need. Um, so let's get... looks like there's one missing. I think I discarded one. So we'll get that. And... I suppose just a Blend Energy from Mew. And, yep, yeah, don't want to do anything else, so... Double freeze, go, go. Okay, nope. 40's good enough for me. Yeah, this is the deck. Uh... <laughs> Not a whole lot to say about it. 
except that it's really, really good. I can't believe the Vile Plume is not a hollow rare. Well, that blows my mind. Uh, what do I want now? I guess we'll take a blend, a rescue, and I mean, oh, may as well set up another Duskmore just for the heck of it. him down, attach, what are you at? 90, okay, so I can't kill you. Double freeze it is, that's good enough. I can't believe he hasn't quit yet. Typhlosion might do decently against this deck too, just because it can knock out its own stuff with uh, Afterburner. Alright. Time to move some damage. Whoops, no, not yet. So yeah, you can see this is where the permalock comes in. You just make sure that you can't knock out their active. And then you're good to dual freeze as much as you want. So how much HP you have left? 100. That's good enough. Yeah! Double heads. Paralyzed again. Poor Keldeo. I'm expecting this is the turn where he concedes, or just rage quits. We'll have to see if he actually leaves or if he times out. But normal, like sometimes they'll fight it, and then once they realize they're locked down, that's it. <laughs> so I call this deck the lie, since it's kind of the opposite of the truth. You know, the truth focused on just tanking out and never dying, and this deck focuses on keeping your opponent from dying until you take all your prizes in one turn. So, actually, we don't need to knock out a uh, Kira. We need to Entei, Regigigas, and Keldeo would be enough. I'll move one more, just in case you have a rainbow energy in there. Alright, that's good. Go, go, double freeze. Good enough. Oh, this deck. <laughs> so, I'd love to hear about the broken combos you guys have come up with in Unlimited. I'm sure this isn't the only one. Uh, this is just the most obvious to me. But, I bet there are more. And if you can think of another deck that beats this one besides Blastoise, or any... It's really not Blastoise, it's Keldeo. So if you can think of another card that beats this one besides Keldeo, uh, that'd be interesting to hear too. Because I haven't thought of one yet, but I'm sure there's a few more combos you could manage to pull off in Unlimited to get out of this situation. So looks like he's just going to go... <laughs> Go go all the EXs. Uh, let's get some more damage on Entei. Thirty. Forty. All right. So what are you at now? A hundred again. Good enough. Double freeze. Yeah. So that's 150, 160, 170, what are you at? How much do you need? 60 left? Alright, next turn is when I win. You're going to spread it around a little bit more, and then just bam, all my prizes. 
I cannot believe he can, he hasn't quit yet. It's great. I'm happy that he hasn't, but... <laughs> Alright, he's charging up Mewtwo now. Mewtwo is not going to save you this time, unfortunately for you. Alright, we need to get you at 160 hours, so. And then we'll just put the extra on Kieran for now. So where are you at now? 90. One more, just to be safe. Alright! Go, go, double freeze. Yeah! Nope. And we win! Six prizes next turn. Uh, I've actually come down, I've come back from being at one prize with this deck and just won. As soon as you establish the lock, that's it. I mean, if they don't play Keldeo, that's it. Uh, I you could flip Quad Tails, that would lose, but um, this is by far the safest way to do it. Um, Excel Gore is another option, but I found it a little less consistent. Uh, just because you have to stream them. So what are you at? 160. Alright, so here we go. Who do we kill first? Regigigas. Dead. Next. Entei. Dead. There's my Oddishes. And finally, Kyurem. Dead. Bam! Six prizes in one turn. Best match ever. Oh. Uh, so that's how it works. Uh, we still got ten minutes, so I'll try and do one more. But yeah, this is probably the only time you'll see this deck. Just because it's... I don't think it's that exciting to watch. You know, it's funny once because it's so unfair. But then after that, it kind of loses its charm. Uh, not the best starting hand, but we could definitely do worse. No collector again. At least we get to start a Mew again this time. That's good. I really want to go back and find a way to uh, a way to make Chandelure work again as well. I feel like he could if I tried hard enough. Oh, he's playing Mew Prime too. This is going to be interesting. And Celebi Prime. Which is a card that's probably good in Unlimited again. I thought about adding Smeargle to this deck, but, um, okay. <laughs> but he... I really want to start with Mew, so... I didn't... S I thought he was just taking up extra space. Duskull. This must be Excelgore. That's strange, because he can't put a psychic energy on. Hmm. Okay, well, we put a grass. And we win! Yeah! <laughs> All right. Play another. Let's wait, because I don't want to get paired up against that guy again. Okay, that should be good. I bet he had... I bet his was Excel Gore. Okay. Oh, basic yellow with a bunch of other energy splashed in. This will be fun. 
Poor basic yellow. Duskull's not a terrible starter just because he can confuse. Um, yep, I'll take another card. Oh, sweet, Oddish. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bench Oddish. Normally that's a really bad idea. You always want to bench them in pairs, but not too worried about this guy's deck just from what I saw. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get Mew. And attach N. There's a collector and a sage. Confuse Pikachu for turn one. And then next turn I'll be able to see off, which is good. <laughs> Mew Prime really is one of my favorite cards. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Got a game to lose. Okay. Oh, he got through. And did no damage. Sucks to be him. Um, okay, so let's go for the Sage here. See what we can get. Pecom and Mew. That'll get me a Vile Plume. So let's attach this. Retreat. And then Pecom. This one. For you. Again, turn two Vile Plume and turn two Dusk Mower. Oh, damn it, I did it the wrong order. <laughs> Crap. That was dumb. Whoops. Well, at least it's against basic yellow. There. God, I can't believe I just did that. It's because I haven't used Vile Plume in so long, I forget. Oh, he got through again. And then flipped Double Tails again. Sucks to be this guy. Uh, so let's get Victini, Mew, and Mew. I may as well just kill this thing. Because I need to get a dust skull. Uh, dust clops. Twins not gonna help me. Togepi. Chansey. Man, I can't believe I did that. It's so dumb. No, not the static electricity. N. That'll work. Uh, okay, nothing. <laughs> Some energy, that's nice. I'm just gonna kill you. Yeah. Hey, we won! <laughs> Alright, uh, these games can take a really long time, so I'm gonna end the video here. We're at 25 minutes, 24 minutes, good enough. Uh, hopefully you guys like seeing this deck. Um, feel free to build it yourself. Just do not expect me to play it with you. <laughs> I would quit immediately against this deck, but uh, hopefully you guys liked it. Give me a thumbs up. If you did, leave me a comment about it. Uh, check out the links in the description, and I will have more coming your way shortly. Thanks for watching, guys.